Azerbaijani literature of the Enlightenment grew stronger during the first half of 19th century. Of course, it was closely connected with Turkmen Chat Treaty signed between Iran and Russia in 1828, in which northern part was annexed to, of Azerbaijan was annexed to Russia. And uh, it was a new page in the historical and literary and social life of Azerbaijan. Uh, and uh, it was the beginning of enlightenment because after Turkmen Chat Agreement, uh, literature and culture. Uh, developed under Russian and European influence. And one of the best representatives of Enlightenment, and at the same time one of the first representatives, was Mirza Shafi Waze. And uh, in our hall, this part of our hall is dedicated to Mirza Shafi Waze. Here you see his uh, portrait, which is work of uh, as a prominent Azerbaijani uh, painter Hassan Hakvertiev. Mirza Shafi was born in uh, 1796 in Ganja. He belonged to noble family. His grandfather uh, was a respected man in Ganja. At the same time, his father he was an architect uh, in the palace of Javad Khan, last ruler of Ganja Khanate, and uh, he perfectly knew Oriental languages. At the same time, he was interested in. Uh, especially U Russian and European literature and languages. And uh, Mirza Shafi Waze, uh, for some period of his life, worked as a teacher, uh, teacher of Persian and Arabic languages at Shah Bas Mosque. And uh, he taught calligraphy to children. And among his children, uh, uh, students, uh, was Mirza Fatala Akhunzada, who became uh, uh, later, a well-known writer, at the same time founder of Azerbaijani dramaturgy and dramaturgy in the uh, Muslim East. Here, uh, in our museum hall, is demonstrated work of Yusuf Hussainov. And uh, their meeting, Vazir's uh, meeting with Mirza Fatale Akhunzada. Uh, and uh, of course, we can say that it was Vaze who awoke progressive outlooks, progressive ideas in Fatalia. And in 1844, uh, Vaze organized a literary society, Divani Hikmat, which means Society of Wise Men, in which he collected, he, like gathered, uh, intellectuals, Azerbaijani, Russian, and foreign intellectuals. And in this part of our hall, you see the work of uh, an eminent Azerbaijani artist, Sadat Sharifzada, the Society of Divani Hikmat, the Society of Wise Men. Members of the society were uh, scientists, orientalists, poets, travelers. And uh, among the members, uh, there was Bodenstedt. Martin uh, von Friedrich Martin von Bodenstedt. He was a uh, German scientist, orientalist, at the same time traveler. Bodenstedt uh, became Vazes' friend, at the same time his student in Azerbaijani and Persian languages. And uh, Vaze presented the poems to Bodenstedt, consists of uh, gazelles, cassettes, Murabe and Masnavis, and he collected them and left for Germany. There he translated the poems into German language, and part of them were included to the book of Bodenstedt, thousands and thousands and one days in the Orient. But the rest part, other part, was published in 1851 under the title "The Songs of uh, the Songs of Bodenstedt." Uh, Mirza Shafi, the songs of Mirza Shafi, and uh, work got like worldwide glory, with, and was translated, republished uh, in different European countries. And in 1880, work was public, uh, translated into English by uh, Irish-born novelist and translator, a well-known translator, uh, Elsa de Esther Kelly. In uh, 1887, work was uh, published in Russia, one of magazines, 
uh, in uh, Russia in, in the magazine Ruskaya Stalina, which was a translation of Mikhailov. Uh, so in the 19th century, work was famous, got glory throughout Europe. It was translated nearly all European uh, literature languages. But in Azerbaijan, his heritage uh, was, uh, got attract, uh, attention only in the 20th century. Uh, so when we speak about poetical works of Vaze, we can say that his works, in his works he glorified especially humanity. He wrote uh, about the joy of life, the humanity and the wisdom. And uh, his works, his literary heritage were, pu was published in two books. One of them in 1851, The Songs of Mirza Shafi, the other one was published in native land in Azerbaijan in 1973.